Good morning, everybody. I'm Kathy Curtis, the Executive Director of Clean and Healthy New York. And I have here with me today, Phil Boyle, the uh, rank, Senator Phil Boyle, the ranking Republican on the Senate Environmental Conservation Committee. And uh, we're here as part of our commemoration of Earth Day's 50th anniversary, Earth Day 2020, uh, 50 years since the first Earth Day. And I think it's really shifted the way people think about the environment. And of course, to us over here at Clean and Healthy New York, every day is Earth Day, but it's nice to really have a formal way to celebrate and commemorate uh, clean air and clean water and healthy communities. Uh, so I just have a couple of quick questions for you this morning, uh, Senator Boyle. Uh, first of all, what does Earth Day mean to you? Well, Kathy, I mean, I, I'm 58, so I'm old enough to remember the first Earth Day. And uh, it, was, it seemed like such a wonderful idea, uh, even uh, in school, uh, to, to have everyone focus on our planet uh, mm -hmm. and what needs to be done to protect it. Now, this has, was before the large environmental movement, shall we say. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the beginning of it. Uh, and uh, from day one, I always thought of Earth Day as a day where everyone that can be taught about Earth Day is going to focus on our planet universally. Uh, we had some, some people who were visionaries and for, with great foresight uh, have thought about it, but for the general public, that probably wasn't the case. And today we see the effects of it. Uh, the things that we weren't thinking about, global climate change, uh, pandemics. Uh, uh, it is one big uh, living organism, this, this Earth, and Earth Day teaches it. And as you say, every day should end up being Earth Day and it's starting to be that way. Appreciate it. So um, what environmental accomplishments have you, you know, are you most proud of? And what do you plan to do next to build on those successes? Well, I've always been proud of my environmental voting record, you know, in, in my 24 years in the state legislature uh, uh, and been the sponsor of, of uh, bills like the Child Safe Product uh, legislation, other things to protect us against chemicals, protect our, our families uh, and our planet uh, from the effects of, of chemicals. That's been a, a focus of mine, as you know, uh, for a number of years since I've been particularly in the state Senate. Uh, but I think uh, going forward, uh, not only focusing again on those protecting us from harmful chemicals, but also to think about renewables. I, I think it's terrible that the United States in general, New York in particular, has really not been a leader in these, uh, mm -hmm. these efforts to go towards renewable energy. We're starting to now with things like offshore wind. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to have been a, a strong supporter of that early on and representing an area of Long Island. This is where the renewable and offshore wind is going to be. Uh, but we need to make, our le make legislation in Albany that's going to make it easier for us to turn towards renewable energy and have New York State be a leader in the United States and have the United States become a leader worldwide. Yeah, I think that uh, it makes good economic sense and good environmental sense. Mm -hmm. no, no question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your time this morning. And, um, you know, I look forward to working with you on some of those initiatives going forward. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you to Clean and Healthy New York.